Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manually sort WooCommerce products and display them in your Elementor post widget. The best part is WooCommerce has a really good built-in drag and drop way to manually sort your items on the back end. To follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro and WooCommerce installed and activated. I also recommend installing this plugin right here called Code Snippets because we will need to add one little snippet of code to make this work correctly. So let's just jump right into it. Here we are in the back end of an Elementor page. And as you can see, this is just using the generic post widget right here. Um, I'm just gonna keep everything by default. So if you bring it in, it's just classic three columns. What we're concerned about is this query area and how we're gonna be able to have it where we can manually move these items around on the back end and have an update here on the front end. Now, if you've already tried to do this, you can go to manual selection right here and you can manually add your items. So let's just add a few items here. So we have a, a hoodie with a logo, a hoodie with a pocket. And what's lacking in Elementor is, you see this right here, you can't click and drag these items around. So if you wanted to have it where you want the hoodie with pocket first, there's really no way to do that, especially once you start to add more products this is gonna get real messy. So there's no easy way to like click and drag these items around and have an update within the feed. So that's why I wanted to create this tutorial is to show you that WooCommerce actually has that type of ability built into the back end of their system. So let's go back to what we had where we just display all of the products. So if you go here, and this is gonna display all of your products right here. And as you can see right here, if you go under products, all products right here, this is just displaying all of our products in alphabetical order. So you can see it's album, beanie, uh, we have a second beanie, beanie with logo. So it all matches up right here. So it would be really nice if we can just like click and drag these things around. So now I'm gonna show you this right here under sorting. I'm gonna show you how you can do that. But one thing we need to do first is go back into your query ID right here. We're gonna need to create a custom query ID, which is why I recommended you install this plugin right here called Code Snippets, because we need to actually add one little uh, snippet of code to make this work. So you could just go in here and just call this something like uh, menu order. That's actually the name of the functionality that WooCommerce gives it. So let's just keep it very simple. So now let's just hit update. Now that we have that updated, we have the query ID in here. Let's go ahead and add that little bit of code to make this work. So once you install and activate code snippets, you're gonna see this right down here called snippets. And if it's your first one here, you can just click add new. Um, I've already gone in here and added this one right here called menu order query. And this is the code you need to add right here. I'm gonna have all of this code in the description below, but you can just see it's one little simple action and query set. So what you wanna do is whatever you typed into your query ID right here, you just need to make sure it matches this right here. So if you have something other than menu-order, you're gonna to wanna to update it here. And then you just keep this by default. This is order by menu order. So just go ahead, hit save and that's it. That's all the hard work. Everything else is now just going to be uh, clicking and dragging stuff around and it's going to update automatically. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. And to pull that off, you just go under products, make sure you're on all products, click this button right here called sorting. And this is the functionality that WooCommerce already has built in. And what it does is it gives you the ability to click and drag your items around. As you can see, the cursor moves to this uh, different cursor. So you can see that you can click and drag these things around. So let's go back into the page and let's go and see how it looks on the front end. And like I said, you already did all the complicated stuff. So now I should be able to just move, let's say beanie with logo to the front. So I'm gonna show you that if you update that right here and that's it, you don't even have to hit save or anything like that. If you go over here to the page, hit refresh, it's now gonna have beanie with logo. Let's go ahead, do a few more tests. Let's add cap underneath. And let's do hoodie with logo to the top. So it should be hoodie with logo, beanie with logo, cap. And like I said, you don't have to hit update or anything like that. Let's go back here, hit refresh. And there you go. Hoodie with logo, beanie, cap. Now, let me show you how it looks if you have it at a different category level. Uh, you will have to click a filter button to make it work correctly. So let me show you what that means. So let's go under here. And I have this right here called product categories under clothing, all the hoodies. So we have four different hoodies. Now, if we go back into here under sorting, you can go under here, clothing, hoodies. You're gonna have to click this button, the filter button to make it change. 
And it's just like what we did right here with all the products. You can now go ahead and just start moving these things around. So let's make it where the zippers first and hoodie, then logo pocket. And so if we go here, hit refresh, we need to actually go here, hit update on the page. Let's refresh this page. And so it should be zipper, hoodie, logo in the pocket. Let's confirm that works. Zipper, hoodie, logo, pocket, perfect. So what's good about this is you can go ahead at any category level and go ahead and just sort these things out. So if you have any other sections on your page that you know you're gonna use for you know sorting your products, you can go ahead and just sort it right here and it will update right here on the back end. And that's it for this video. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.